assalamu alaikum very good morning hi how are you fine welcome to my youtube channel chemistry with gs and today i will teach you what are functional groups this is very very important topic right so i have made this topic on the request of the students so let me to define what uh, what is functional group so it can be defined as an atom or group of atoms which give which gives characteristics chemical properties to organic molecules or compounds called functional groups right now there are there are different functional groups and i will explain today only those functional groups which contain carbon hydrogen and oxygen so the compounds uh, organic compounds containing carbon hydrogen and oxygen is functional groups are these are means those compounds which have functional functional groups and contain what carbon hydrogen in oxygen so these include what number one alcohols number two ethers three aldehydes four ketones five carboxylic acids and six esters so first I will briefly dis, uh, explain what are alcohols. So the organic compounds which contain hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group means OH group. If those compounds which contain OH group, so they will be alcohol. They are called alcohols. Their general formula will be ROH, right, which is on the screen. Here R represents the alkyl group and OH represents the functional group of alcohol. The functional group of alcohol is here is hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group means OH. E of alkane here this E at the end of the alkane so this will be replaced by OL. Here how? Let's say CH3OH. So if there is one carbon in alkane it is called methane. So one hydrogen is substituted by OH here. So this compound contains one carbon, right? So its common name will be methyl alcohol. If we write its iopaque name, it will be methanol. Look at Me. Here E is replaced by OH. Other examples are number two, CH3, CH2, OH. This is common system. In common system, this is ethyl alcohol. If I write its name in IUPAC system, IUPAC stands for International Unit of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Then, it, it, this compound contains two carbon atoms. If any compound which has two carbon atoms in alkane, we call it ethane. Here, one hydrogen is replaced by, one of its hydrogen is replaced by OH. So, so its name will be changed and now it is alcohol. So, ethane will convert it to ethanol and E and E, look at this is E of ethane will be converted into OL. Another example is CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So here three carbon atoms, if there are three carbon atoms in alkanes, right? So they are called propane. And here propane has a formula what? CH3, CH2, CH3. So one of the hydrogen is replaced by OH, right? So OH is there, so this is alcohol. And here three carbon atoms, so propane will convert into propanol because the last E of propane will be changed by OL. The next is ethers. That what are ethers, right? So the compounds which contains this functional group. Or oh, at the middle and at the side two alkyl groups are attached. Right? So they are called ethers. Their general formula is what? Or O R, right? Here, what is R? R represents the alkyl group. And the functional group of ether is R. O is in the middle and at the side, there are two alkyl groups will be attached. Examples are dimethyl ether. Look at, this is one methyl 
This is another methyl. So at the middle, there is oxygen. So this is the functional group of ether. So its name will be one methyl, another methyl. So there are two methyls. So for two, we use a prefix that is called di and CH3 is methyl. So dimethyl and this is the functional group of ether. So its name will be dimethyl ether. Look at example number two. This is one ethyl. This is another ethyl, right? So we have here two, two ethyl. And at the middle, there is one oxygen, right? So its name will be dimethyl ether. Here, if you look at here, so here at the one side, there is ethyl. While at the other side, there is methyl. So its name will be ethyl methyl ether. Now comes number three, aldehydes. So aldehydes have also, or have, has also oxygen in, in its functional group. The organic compounds which contains this group, right? C double bond OH or CHO, right? So there, those compounds will be aldehydes. The general formula of aldehyde is R C double bond OH and the functional group of aldehyde is here CHO, C double bond O and H. The E of alkane here is we are doing for all this E will be replaced by AL. For examples, here its common name is formaldehyde, right? HC double bond OH, this is called formaldehyde. Now, here one carbon is here. If there is one carbon in alkane, it is methane. So if I write here methane, M E T H A N, so E will be replaced by A L. So its name will be methanol. If its name is methanol, it shows that this is aldehyde. Another example number two this is acetaldehyde. Its common name. It is the common name of this compound, right? Acetaldehyde. Its chemical formula CH3 C double bond OH. If I write its IUPAC name, right? So here we have two carbon atoms. If there are two carbon atoms in alkane, it is called ethane. But here two carbon atoms and the functional group is aldehyde. So ethane, the E of ethane will be replaced by AL, so its name will be ethanol. Number three, ketones. Ketones will have two alkyl groups attached at carbon, and carbon will be attached with oxygen. So the organic compounds which contain this unit, right, this unit, so they will be what ketones? The general, general formula of ketones are R, C double bond, O, R, right? And the functional group of ketone is, this is the functional group of ketone. Look at the cursor. Uh, I am showing this is the functional group of ketone. Examples are acetone. This is the common name of this compound. Here, if you count the number of carbon atoms, one, two, three. So what will be the IUPAC name of this system? So the IUPAC name of this system, we have here three carbon atoms. So if there are three carbon atoms in alkane, so they are called propane, right? So it, what will be the name of this compound in at ketones, right? So this will be propanone because the last E of alkane propane will be replaced by O-N-E, O-N-E. So here E of alkane is replaced by O-N-E. Another example is CH3, CH double bond O, CH2, CH3. So here we have four carbon atoms. If there are four carbon atoms in alkane, so they are called butane. So here the functional group is C double bond O, carbonyl, carbonyl carbon is here. So its name will be butanone, butanone. Carboxylic is so the organic compounds which contain hydroxyl group hydroxylic group, carboxylic group, which contains carboxylic group, COOH, so they will be, so they are called carboxylic acid. And their general formula is RCOOH. 
Here again, the E of alkane, this one will be replaced by N carboxylic acid OIC acid. And the functional group of carboxylic acid is here, what? COOH. Here, let's say, for example, formic acid. Write the name of methanoic acid. Look at it. So, methane, there is one carbon. So, HC double bond O, OH, right? So, there is one carbon. So, this is meth. If there is one carbon in alkane, it is called methane. So, E of methane will be replaced by OIC acid here, right? Example number two, acetic acid or acetic acid here. This is the common system. This is the common name of, carbo of this compound, acetic acid. This is the common name. If I write its IUPAC names, then there are two carbon atoms here, two, one and two. So if there are two carbon atoms in alkane, it is called ethane. So here, COOH, this carboxylic group is attached, right? So ethane, E of ethane will be replaced by OIC acid and its name will be ethanoic acid. Now it comes towards esters. Ester also contains oxygen, right? And its functional group. So organic compounds which contains R, C, O, O, R are called esters. The general formula of R, C, O, O, R, right? And R, C, double bond, O, O, R. This is the general formula of esters. So all food flavors are all food flavors, they are esters, right? And we are using in daily life. E of alkane here is again displaced by OATE. So here we have two alkyl groups attached, methyl ethanoate, right? So this is methyl, right? It contains one carbon and this is here we have two carbon atoms, right? So this will be an alkane ethane. So the E of this the E of that compound alkyl group will be changed, which has greater number of carbon atoms. Here, if we take this one, so here we will we have two carbon atoms. So this will be ethane. So O A T E will be will be put will be put to with that alkyl group, which has greater number of carbon atoms. Here we have one carbon. So this is methanoate. We cannot write here. There are two carbon atoms. So this is ethanoate, so we will add OATE with ethane here. Here CH3, CH2, and here again CH2, CH3. Here this will be ethyl and this will be propane. One, two, one, two, right? This is one, two, three. So this is propane. And here CH2, CH3, this is ethane. So OAT will be added with propane and NOD will be added to ethane, right? So this is ethyl and this is propanoate. So its name will be ethyl propanoate. Now next is phenols. So those compounds and which O is attached with the benzene ring. This is benzene ring and its chemical formula is what C6H5OH and it is also called carbo, uh, carbolic acid, right? Mm. So organic compounds in which O is attached to benzene ring. So those compounds are called alcohols and the general formula is C6H5OH, right? We can write this is C6H5 here. This is C6H5. So if you replace one hydrogen from benzene, so it is called phenyl. So phenyl YL is replaced by OL because OH is attached to benzene. So its name will be phenol. So thanks for watching my channel Chemistry with GS. I would like to request to subscribe my channel and give comments that you receive more updated videos. Right. So once again, thank you and subscribe my YouTube channel Chemistry with GS.